This Christmas wall hanging was my first woodwork project uh, and it's very simple you can even make it with a single tool as I'll explain in the video. I was uh, packing away the Christmas decorations in February and uh, put this away uh, which is the very first woodwork project that I did over a year ago now and what might be interesting is that you could do this this project with just a single cheap handheld tool. All you need is a saw, a handheld miter saw. Uh, full disclosure, these corners that I've made so that the joints, hopefully you can see that, I did use another tool to make those joints, but you don't need to do that. You could just use uh, cross half lap joints like I've done everywhere here. The cross half lap joint is simply where you cut two pieces of wood halfway through such that you can then join them together like that. So that's a cross half lap. So all of these joints here are cross half laps. In fact I've made these ones so tight that there's no glue except for the plate on the bottom. They're all held together simply by friction. Uh, but you don't need to make them that exact. In fact, <coughs> what I did is I got, after some renovations in the house, I had these panelling pieces, uh, which is some actually very nice hardwood of some description. I don't know what it is. So. I actually also had a measuring tape, but you don't need to do that, provided that, that the two ends, left and right here, are the same length. So as long as you cut those to the same length, the lengths of all of the cross pieces can be whatever you want them to be. So you can cut all of that out, simply with a handheld saw. Uh, it would be useful if you've got a square so that you can get a, mark a square line on your material uh, but that's not that's not vital that's in this case because you can actually use this saw to mark a square you will need to have a pencil or a knife a knife would be better actually and you but you could simply use a really cheap box cutter knife or just a pencil. Yeah, so you can actually even do this without a square, just simply with one tool. So what you would do is you would cut the two side panels to be exactly the same length. You cut the one, two, three, four panels I've created. And they don't need to be these these intervals don't need to be perfect. If you look closely at my one, although I've measured all of these out, they're not perfectly equal. <clears throat> For example, I thought it looked better if the space at the top was longer than the other spaces. So they don't need to be equal. They do need to be equal at each side here. So what you do there is you get these two pieces and you cut those joints <coughs> at the same time. I spent quite a lot of time making sure I cut these angles so that it's very, very tight and then I carefully sanded them to make sure they're super tight, but it's really not necessary for something that's just going to be a decoration. Yeah, and then I simply just painted it, so you will need a paintbrush and some sandpaper. Yeah, but essentially you could do the whole thing just with one simple tool. To find the middle, of this, it, that's, it is going to be definitely useful to have some kind of measuring device. All I had at the time actually was this very cheap square to measure the middle. You don't have to have that. What you can do is you can simply create a little jig. So what I've got here is just a piece of scrap wood. I did use a drill to put these dowels in, but you don't need to do that. You could simply put in some fairly large, fairly large nail or something like that at two points and then you draw diagonal lines across here to find the center between them. 
then put in a nail in between and cut the head off and sharpen that nail this will give you a little jig I guess you would need a hammer to do that but you know I'm assuming you've got a hammer then what you do is you simply use this little jig you use it, hopefully you can see that if I do it this way perhaps you just use this with the top little pegs on each side and then you can use that to mark the center you, can, you do it one way and then you do it the other way to make sure that you've found the center that will give you the center of the width of the piece and then you can go ahead and cut your half flaps like this all the way down and then just just stick them together if you're not going to use them make them super accurate right which I'm assuming you that you won't uh, you will of course need some glue to hold it all together and instead of creating these kind of uh, perfect butters joints like this <coughs> which did require but it did require another tool to be able to get this angle just right instead of doing that you can just simply pass them through All right it'll still look it'll still you'll still get the same effect I think so really simple that was actually my first little woodwork project